Hi everybody, it's Tammy with Foo 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 Studio and we're back for episode 28 of I Saw It On Pinterest. And today we are going to attempt to make some altered playing cards. And these particular uh, cards are have been altered into pockets. And I found this on Pinterest and it was by Camilla Craft Designs, and she also has a, a video for this. She does several different kinds um, in her video, but uh, the one that I'm going to be doing in particular are the pockets that she made. So, I hope you will follow along or join in or um, uh, make your own take on these. Um, as you know, if you've been following this series, although I do use, um, you know, Pinterest items for reference, um, I often kind of put my own take on them to make them work for whatever journals I'm working in. And I'm going to do that today, too, because she used Jumbo, the Jumbo Sides Playing Cards to make hers, and I don't have any of those. And, um, you know, as I said when I started the series, I am using stuff that is from my stash. I'm not purchasing anything or anything like that to do these. So, I'm just using the items that I have already on hand. Um, I do have several kinds of cards. Uh, I pick them up whenever I see the older ones um, in thrift stores or, or um, you know, antique shops, whatever. And so, I do have several kinds. And I'm going to be a using a couple of those different kinds today. Um, and the main reason that I did that is I have two different sizes. See how those are smaller? And I think those are going to work better to fit inside of the pockets if they're not the same size as these. And I still don't think that's going to be... Um, big enough because I don't think I can get my glue line that small. And so I am going to pat back the base card um, with some Tim Holtz uh, scrapbook paper. And what I did for those is I cut the little pieces that are, I think these are three by four. Yeah, the little three by four pieces you know, they start out as a 12 by 12 and they've got the little 3 by 4 pieces. So, that's what I'm going to start with so that I can build up my smaller card um, to be just a little larger size. Like, you know, something like that. So, we're going to do two or three different kinds of this. She had two different kinds of pockets. One of them... Um, you know, she had the pocket on the front, kind of like this at an angle. And then the other one, she had the pocket here. So, we're going to try both of those. And we're going to do some little fudging to make our cards look a little bigger. Um, by using this, uh, these Tim Holtz papers. So, the first thing that I want to do, I believe, is I want to round the corners so that it looks more like a playing card. Hope everybody is doing good today. I'm doing pretty good. Okay. So, th my first step is going to be to glue the card onto this so that I have a bigger base, um, and I'm, I think I'm going to just use our glitter glue for that, and I'm going to go just mainly around the edges. Now, I'm not worried about the back of the card showing, or the back of the, even the back of the scrapbook paper, because, um, it's going to be glued down on the journal page, 
Um, so I'm not really too concerned with what the back looks like. And the reason that I'm choosing this more neutral side is because I'm going to put some Tim Holtz tissue paper over it. And so it's not going to really, it wouldn't be of a benefit to use the um, side with the, with a prettier print. Okay, so that's that. And then we need to pick a paper and I want to pick one of the papers that's gonna kinda blend in with that background that I put. These are all Tim Holtz tissue papers. And as you can see, you can still see the pat the card through the back, which is what I want. And I think I'm gonna do like that part right there. Or I like I really like that label too. Hmm. No time to be picky. Yeah, I'm going to do that right there. So, um, I'm going to use Distress Collage Medium. And I'm just going to brush the whole surface here. Now, my cards, there are a couple, but for the most part, my cards are paper cards. They don't have that real shiny stuff on them because they are older cards. Um, but if you have the ones that are real shiny, you might want to, uh, rough them up with a little bit of the sandpaper and get that shine off so that everything sticks better. I do have a couple that I did that already, and I'll show you those in a minute. I'm going to get some of these started so they can be drying. And I am going to put it underneath and on top. Just a light coat. Oops, that wasn't good. I peeled it right up, which was my, not my intention. Let's try that again. There we go. All right, I'm going to set this one to the side, and I should have planned ahead for a place to set them. So there's that one. Um, these are the ones that I was talking about that had the shinier surface. And I just took, like I said, some um, sandpaper and just ripped those up. So we'll go ahead and do both of these. Let's see what paper I want to use. These are Alice in Wonderland cards. And so that's why they have kind of the funky look to them. Um, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use, this flowery rose looking paper on those. Oh, I gotta put my bags on, don't I? Bet you were screaming at me. Let's do this one for that. And I've only got, one kind of Alice thing cut out, but maybe we can Let's do this one. Okay, surround these corners. I'm getting ahead of myself.
I'm not worried about inking at this point. We'll do that once everything gets dry. Of course, these don't have to both be owls because I'm going to cover up. And you know what? I think I will No, I'll go ahead and do both of them because I'm going to have to cut one to be the pocket. No, wrong one. Wrong medium there. Okay, so now let's. Put my pen back in my glue, which sometimes seems impossible. Sorry if I'm getting a little low. Trying to decide how I want to put these on here. If I flip the paper around a million times. You do have to be a little bit careful when you're putting the tissue paper on there to make sure you don't rip it, but it's not near as fragile as, say, if you were doing a napkin. Um, this Tim Holtz tissue is pretty, pretty sturdy. You can't really see those cards as well. You can kind of see them though. Did I cross this over? Well, yeah. I was like, something doesn't feel right. I really kind of flood that one up, guys. Let's see if I can rescue it at all. Okay, so we may only get one out of that one. Let's we'll see how it dries. That's okay. We can always cut it back down to just the card size and still use it. Never think that you can't recover from something because you can always recover. All right. See, I ripped that one all to pieces.
Okay. Now let's do let this glue up a little bit or matte medium. Let's do a couple more. And then we'll move on to the next part. I gotta make my pocket. I'm gonna round all the edges, but I'm not gonna need it, I don't think. Okay, so we need to do another one with I got a queen of or ten of hearts so let's do let's do that Now these are the bigger, the bigger cards, not the smaller ones. And if you have the jumbo cards, then you wouldn't have to put this piece of cardstock on the back. Your your jumbo cards would be big enough to handle a card, a regular size card going in the pocket. need to do another one of that first one. Okay, this is to match that first first one that we did for the bottom portion. garbage before they end up on my, underneath my tissue paper. Okay, 
there's that one. Okay, now we can do the birds. Now, if you didn't want to do this tissue paper, I think you could probably also just gesso, put a light cut of gesso on the cards and then use whatever kind of decorations that you wanted. I'm gonna cut it apart this time so I don't make the same mistake twice. It's going to have that big old spade right in the middle of it. Another thing you could do is if you're going to do, you know, the pocket in the card, is if you wanted your pocket to look like you know, it's a continuation, you could use a longer piece and, you know, put your other one right under here and then when you cut it off into a pocket, it'd be continuous. Does that make sense? running out of places to lay things. This is not normally where I work with wet media and so there's not as much room. But I didn't want to move my camera so or my camera holder, phone holder. Okay, and now what we need to do is work on the smaller cards that are going to go in the pockets. So, we've got these, and we're going to need three. So, what three do we want? Let's do one of the Norman Rockwell. And the rest of them are blue, so let's do a face card and a regular. Let's do red face card. Okay, on these, I believe what I'm going to do is... use just regular plain paper and cover them because I want to I've got some washi stickers and things to decorate them with And these are going to be the inserts anyway so you don't want them to take away too much from the tissue paper that you just put on there
And the reason I like to put the tissue paper is so that the cards aren't so in your face. Kind of gives them a mu more muted look. You could also use sewing paper. You could use a napkin. It's really up to you. But my tissue paper, I mean my decorative tissue paper for the most point um, has a lighter background so I chose the white. We're finished with that and we need to let all this dry. Let's see if I can get this up. Okay. I'll lay this one somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, this one may be, it's about dry. Okay, I am going to pause the video and dry all these real quick. And uh, I'll be right back at ya. Okay, I'm back and I have them at least dry enough to work with, I think. So we are going to trim off the excess and I'm going to cut it close and then I'm going to take a fingernail file and do the rest. I'll show you that in just a second. These are the ones that I boogered up. We'll see if we can't make something happen. And I'll save these little bits of tissue paper left over for collaging or something like that. The ones that are worth it anyway. And then get our plain ones here. take a fingernail file and just go straight along the edge and it should clean up your edges nice and clean so that you don't have a raggedy edge and I found this is a lot more effective my file may be about shot Sorry, I'm sure that is annoying. Maybe I'll cut them so you don't have to hear. But basically, that's what you would do is just follow along the edge. 
and then it will peel right off like that and I won't do that on camera because I'm sure that's annoying I didn't even think about that so I'll just finish trimming them real quick If you have any edges like this one right here that pops up because it didn't get enough stuff on it you can just put some uh, glue stick on there and it'll hold it just fine I'll try to hurry. I know this part is not fun nor interesting. Feel free to fast forward through this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put you on pause again. I hate to do that, but I'm afraid that if I don't, that we're not going to get these done in the time allotted. So, um, all I'm going to do is trim them up and ink them just to save time. And then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back again and we're all ready to go to the next step. I think it'll move a lot quicker now. I just don't want to, um, I don't like to run much over an hour because I feel like that after that, people get bored. And I definitely don't want to make you bored. I may be making you bored anyway, but I know after an hour I would. Okay, so we have everything ready to go. So now we're going to start assembling our pockets. And what we want to do is I want to make one that is a um, angled pocket so that it, um, how do I want to do this? I want it do I want the queen in the back in the pocket here or do I want to do Oh, I think I want, see, I can't be doing this. I'm going to be doing this all day. I'm going to be debating what I want. Let me take my ruler here just a minute so I can see.
Yeah, I think I want to do it like that. So let me get a pencil. So if I cut it, like right along that line. So I still have the 10. Can I see that even? Barely. Could almost leave it like that, couldn't I? I just thought about that. I left that back card longer, but it's not gonna be too successful. If... I mean, I could do that and just glue it. No, let's cut it off. Okay, so that's gonna be one of our pockets. Oh, that did not glue well, did it? And that's our glitter glue. I may have to get my fiber tack. Yeah, that's not going to stick to that at all. Note, fiber tack or art glitter glue does not stick to distress medium. Those couple of pieces of interesting scraps to keep. Okay, so there's that one. Let that dry a minute. All right, and then we're going to have one. that goes straight across I'd like to get it where I can save this other bird's head for a different one you know those two cards aren't the same size that happen. Okay, so I think I want it about right there. My glue is blowing up over here.
I'm going to put a little notch. in there I'm gonna glue it on and then around the corners again sorry if I was off screen there And glue on the back of it. Okay, let's round those corners. doesn't like it doesn't like it at all let me turn my other one here if not we'll get out the big bad boy yeah that's too thick So there's our one with the straight pocket. So we've got an angled pocket and a straight pocket. And then the other one is going to be the one that, and so we have another, although I did kind of, but if I do an angled pocket and come down this way, then the bird's not gonna really be there anyway. So that would work. Okay, and then these are going to be the ones where the card goes inside. So we want to notch it. On the side, just, just a little bit. I should have made four of the inside cards and I didn't. I just made three with the tissue paper on them, but we can make that work. Okay, and so then we will glue this on three sides. that side and that's paper to paper so our glitter should work for that I never dreamed our glitter glue would not stick that I've never had it not stick anything really except maybe some plastic As you can see, my bigger dub ones came out just fine. They've got a couple wrinkles, but I don't mind that. I'm not as happy with those cards though. I should have used probably a 
simpler pattern on the Alice cards because you can't really see them through the back like you can the others. Okay, so there are our three pockets. Now let's decorate our cards real quick. So we have this one, which is kind of generic. It could really be just anything. And I've got a bunch of washi stickers. So it's got a flower. We could do a butterfly. And I'm going to keep these pretty simple because I want it to be obvious that it's a playing card deal and get the back off. So I don't want to camouflage it so much that you can't tell what's going on. There's that one. All right, then we have the birds. And we probably don't want another bird on that one. We could do some more flowers. Or I've got some mushrooms. Mushrooms might be kind of cool. I've got a clock. Another clock. So clock or mushrooms? What do we think? I like the mushrooms, I think. I like the clock too, but not on that particular one. Here's some more mushrooms over here. I like those colors better. Let's go with this one. So there's that one. And then we'll do one of these because I only made one card. Now this one, maybe we can, since we have so many flowers, maybe we can use. This one almost needs something here as well, like a label or something, I think. My card even gonna fit in there now that I had to use Fabri-Tac, which we know spreads. May have to cut it down just a tad. Oh, 
Oh no, I used art glitter on that, didn't I? Should have been plenty of room then. We have oh, we could use we could use one of these ladies. Of course we already have a lady on that one, don't we? We have a queen. almost needs like a let's do this butterfly I think color wise it'll go well can you see me gosh sometimes I forget what I'm doing So that will go in here. Like that. All right, and this is our last one, but I didn't do a little card for that one, for this one. grab one real quick. It won't have the tissue on it, but maybe we can make it look like something. I don't have a couple that I made before that are stamped. Let's see if this one will fit in here. These are just plain tissue paper and then stamped with stamps. There we go. All right, so let's put one of these ladies on this one. She's too tall now. All right, so it's gonna be this one or this one. I don't like that one, I think. And see, because that one had a darker base, the washi did not disappear as well as it did on the ones that I did the white 
tissue on. So I'm going to just take some ink and kind of go around the edge. Blend that in just a little more. So it doesn't stand out as much. There we go. All right, so that will go in here. So there we go. Those are pretty cute and they could be, you know, something that you could have in your stash to put in a journal when you're putting it together. They don't take up a whole lot of room. So you could use them in about any size journal. I think I prefer these that have the, you know, the, the card on the inside, but I prefer the tissue paper that's not as busy so that you can really tell that it's a plain card. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and sorry about the pauses and stops, but I just didn't want to um, take up too much time just doing piddly stuff when we could be actually seeing something maybe a little useful. I think what I may do is, um, after I end the video, is uh, maybe put some little labels or some, something on here. Actually, no, I don't think I will right now because I think what I will do is just put these in my stash and then once I uh, put them in a journal, that will help me determine, you know, what I would do to finish these off. These, you know, I think are pretty much done. These, I feel like need something out here. And, um, like I said, I think that will depend on what kind of journal I'm doing. So, I think I'll leave them as is for now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, can't believe we're on episode 28 already. I keep telling myself, oh, I'm going to run out of stuff to find. And, you know, and then I go on Pinterest and, no, you know, I end up pinning you know, 15 more things that I like. So, I don't think we're going to run out anytime soon. So, I hope you guys are enjoying watching the series. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And um, let me know if you liked the video by giving me a thumbs up. And uh, if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. And if you haven't, please subscribe so you know about upcoming videos and um also i often do videos for releases that i um have in my shop and um announce sales or giveaways or whatever so if you're a, a subscriber then you'll be uh you know, receive notifications of that. And I think that'll wrap it up for today. And I'll be back at the end of the week for uh, just a general, general journaling video. And I hope you guys will join me then. And until then, stay safe and stay healthy. And we'll see you next time. Bye.